Dan Riker. Ben Pack. I have one question for you and one question only. What's that? Are you ready to get on my level? Of course, Ben Pack. Always. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I asked you that because A, it's not my level. It's our community, no. our lovely community's levels. And two, are, you, are, are they in front of you? They're in like, they're, I'm imagining a, like a, a, the giant bomb player is here and they're okay. in the comments under just being like, wow, oh my God, this is such a great and fun video. I'm having a great time. Thanks for playing okay, my All level. the actual creators are here in this studio here in New York. So oh, you brought them Everything's bigger in. in New York. What's that? You flew them in? Oh, we did. We did. We have a lot of space here in the studio, so you got to make use of it somehow, right? <laughs> That's right. And Dan, uh, so we're, we're here, we're playing some Mario Maker 2 levels submitted by our community. Uh, and it's not just for fun, it's also for business. Profit. Profit. That's right. If you uh, created a level here that is able to stump us, the Mario experts of the offices, then uh, you win a free month of Giant Bomb Premium. It's very exciting. It's uh, coming directly out of our paycheck, so we're incentivized here yep. to really just beat these levels win ben packs money <laughs> that's right I'll, I'll talk a little more monotone and uh put some clear eyes in my eyes but right. i have clear eyes and an open heart and i'm ready to play the first level wow. all right <laughs> submitted by giant bomb user dwork md it's called walk a mile in goomba's shoes and i should mention we picked these levels out for each other Yes, so we got a lot of codes in, and then we kind of vetted them because we had to make sure that they were, you know, decent-ish levels or whatever. And there's a lot of really good stuff. Yeah. Um, but so the ones Ben is playing, he's playing for the first time, but I have played before, and I gave the thumbs up and the go ahead here. You know what? I I don't think I realized you could pick who you play as. I've only played as Mario. Is that just in a setting somewhere? Yeah, totally. I was like bored one day, just looking through every screen I could find in Mario Maker. You can play as Mario, Luigi, and two different colored toads. Okay. I like playing as Luigi. I should, uh... Yeah, he can jump higher. Bit. He can't? Well, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like... So they, far, they, That I'm would break this. the hell out of the game if they, they oh, put yeah. that in here. <laughs> like, they, they just... I mean, think about, like, if they actually did a Mario 2 uh, import, you know, and they had to, like, adjust for different character jump heights and stuff. I mean, that's why I wish they would have done it with the whole 3D world, like, subsection thing, where it's like, hey, all this stuff is just for the Mario 2 level set. Right. That'd be great. All right, you seem to be doing fine here so far. Yeah, this is this is this reminds me of, like, a, a, Mar a level you would find in Super Mario 3. Totally, yeah. Is it because of the Super Mario 3 art style and items? Yeah, it's mostly the fact that it looks like <laughs> Super Mario 3. Oh, okay, using the exact sprites from the game. Yeah. I, I I'm in a uh, Karibo <laughs> shoe, that's from that game. Okay, I see it now, yeah. I, I thought uh, I thought the same thing. I mean, this felt like uh, that first level, I think, where you get Karibo shoe in Mario 3, I think it's kind of like this, right? It, it's the same yeah. type of theme. And you're going across the, uh, the munchers and all that stuff. It kind of teaches you about Karibo shoe. Like, you can walk on these weird, uh, like, I forgot what they're called, the little black plants. Munchers. Munchers. Oh, I was going to be. What kind of Mario fan are you? <laughs> I was actually, I have the Mario Encyclopedia. Have you seen that? Yes, yes, I had it. Uh, yeah, so I, I ended up buying that. I was going to bring it in and try and pull some Mario trivia, but maybe next oh. episode. Whenever I couldn't think of a feature when I worked at Game Informer, it was always just like, Hey, uh, you know this guy's name is Strollin' Stew? <laughs> it's just another, like, hey, this guy's name's weird. That's kind of why I bought the thing, is to look at all the weird yeah. names. <laughs> yeah. We all know Torpedo Ted, but did you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I'm, I'm thinking back, because I played through a lot of these community levels here, and some of them got absolutely brutal. Oh my at a god, point. dude. Yeah, we have some uh, very talented. Mario makers, both in level design and Mario skill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I, shit's about to go down. Hold on. So, I think I, as I played more of them going forward, I got a better idea of like how the difficulty would be tuned for a lot of these. <laughs> so maybe no, this first shoot. one will. Be, whoa. Maybe this first one will be a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that that's well. We'll see when you get to my levels. Uh, it's hard picking out levels for somebody else, you know? You want to pick levels that are challenging, but not, like, ridiculous and unbeatable. Because, yeah. again, we're gonna- we're- we're poised to lose thousands of dollars here if we don't play Mario well. 
from our wallets, right? We're, we're pulling it on the table after this. Actually, th that was just a good level I sent you. That there. was like a very solid, like if that was, if you told me that was 4-2 in Super Mario 3, yeah. I would believe you. Yeah, like good job, uh, good job. Dwork Loclo? MD. Wait, who? The, uh, giant Bomb user Dwork MD. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, thanks for that. That was a nice, oh, I that was a good warm up. I got, I got a little limber. I feel like uh, ready to tackle the world. Yeah. All right. Well, I will hop into mine here. Uh, so my first one is from, uh, what's the user's name? Akasi. Yeah. And uh, it's called Slice and Dice Donuts with uh, everyone's favorite new Super Mario Brothers U style. <laughs> uh, avoid the blades to enjoy the bounce of the donuts. Three clears out of 112 attempts. That's a good sign. I'm Let's, one of uh, those. I... Let me see what the one comment is. It's probably just going to be a stamp of princess going, whoa, or something. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's just from Super Gary himself. All right. Wait, what? What? Why did it say that's... Con oh, he's the world wreck. Maybe they did like a swap Why did he say thanks for playing my level? Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to play this. You can't, you can't get into the mind of Super Gary. That's true. I wonder if he's mourning Super Dave still. <laughs> we all kind of Is that are. how family names work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I like a good wall jump. I make fun of new Super Mario Brothers U, but I really do like the wall jumping. Yeah. What totally. are we doing here? We got... Oh, that doesn't feel fun. All right. Oh, don't like it. All right. Did you beat this level? I did. Okay. So you're one of the three. I am. It feels nice to be one of three in anything. Oh, this, I don't like having to hug the wall all weird like... Oh, oh, this feels bad. <laughs> don't like it. It feels bad, but it, it's also kind of a little thrilling, you know? I feel kind of safe because I know if I hold far left... Oh, God. I hate the shit. Okay. Okay. I hate it more. I'm not going to hit the jump button. Okay. Going to do a wacky bounce here. Okay. Going to get whack here. Yep. Got whack here. Oh, Wacky Town USA, here we go. <laughs> I just really right. like the sound here. Yeah, it's, okay, this is fun. This is good. Yeah, it's like one of those ones that's stressful, but not frustrating. Yeah. You know, when I was making levels, uh, and I saw all the people complaining about the lack of checkpoints, I was always like, bah, checkpoints. Uh, but then, once I started playing levels <laughs> to, to vet for you, I was like, man, I would really like a checkpoint here. Turns out they're helpful. Yeah. Oh, I don't. This is where I'm gonna die. <laughs> All right. Fine. Okay. Ooh, this part's sinister. Is there space? Oh, I see why that's bad. Okay. <laughs> um, probably a little more. Eh, probably about equal headroom. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's bad news. Okay. Fuck everything. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Yeah! That was close. Ugh. We've given out no money yet, right? That's right. Okay. We're undefeated. Man, that must have been a pain in the ass for Patrick to play all my levels. <laughs> now that I'm playing levels, it's like, man, you gotta start over? That sucks. Yeah, all the way from the beginning? Boy, that's not fun. Yeah, why would anyone do that? Fuck. All right. The only thing that's frustrating about checkpoints from a building perspective is having to clear from the checkpoints. That's I get true. it, but... Yeah, yeah. It's smart. Wow. All right. And then we got to ride the donut up. Is it Mario 3D World that has the, like, duck charge thing? Oh, yeah. They're like... Mm. Okay. Mm, 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 I, I, mm. I know those won't hit you, but it still freaks me out. It's singeing his mustache hairs. <laughs> okay, that's... Fuck, fuck that. Oh, no. <sighs> So yeah, like like the level you sent me, this is very classic, uh, straight up Mario, you know, like World 1-2 no. kind of. Yeah, 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 definitely. This is every level in Mario Deluxe. <laughs> Wait for this goddamn donut. I do like how every uh, Mario uh, model in this game can duck, including Mario 1. He just does that weird poop squat thing. Yeah, he just kind of like loses part of his torso. <laughs> yeah, I like it. His knees buckle out. <laughs> Oh, I meant to bounce off the donut. Oh, oh bad times. Okay. Bah! Okay. Just do it. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is the fun And part. we don't have a hard rule as far as, like, number of deaths or, like, time, but, like, 
we're gonna keep each other on task where it's like if one of us seems like we're not really progressing we might be like all right you want to give it another couple tries yeah but n no hard and fast rules here so we got we got a ton of levels I, I was really happy we got like uh oh in the first week i think we got something like 100 levels which is nice. incredible Obviously, we've pared that down a little bit, but... Ah, fuck. Oh, no. Okay, do I just... Balls to the wall here, or do I take it, like, super duper... I went slow, but I'm wondering okay. if you can go fast. Ah, 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 I don't like it. All right, all right. Yo, all right. Oh. Jeez, that sucks. All right, I'm just gonna fall straight down, and if I die on a jigsaw right there, this person's an asshole. All right? Yeah. I'm saying that before I fall off here, just so that person knows. Just trust are you your cool? instincts. Is he cool or is he an asshole? Oh, he's oh, super he's cool. cool! He's the coolest! You're the coolest! <laughs> You're the coolest and you don't get any money. <laughs> <laughs> your My honesty is rewarded with nothing. Yeah, hey, but I'll give you a little like there, e -Cossie. All right, great. Good job, Dan. Thanks. Good good pick and good level. Yeah, uh, and speaking of good levels, I'm excited here for this level by uh, Windmills titled Frasier colon The Ride. Description, <laughs> right, enjoy a new thrill ride based off of your favorite franchise, Frasier. Uh-huh. Let's just get right in there. Dan, I've never seen an episode of Frasier. I haven't either. Were uh, you, I bet we, we were kind of on the same page of it seemed like a show that we weren't smart enough for maybe it was for adults yeah it was like I dry. Think I knew what a psychologist was yeah like it's like doctor stuff and he wore suits okay Roz I think that's Frazier's girlfriend I thought that was Phoebe Niles or Daphne that's Frazier's brother obviously I okay. only know that from I just the know the Simpsons I just know the sideshow Bob and his brother Simpsons or sideshow Bob racks himself on the uh the pipe coming out of the dam this one just says dog I'm pretty sure yeah. the dog has to have had a name. Yeah. I think my friend Tim Turry has seen every episode of Frasier. Oh, yeah, Dad. <laughs> so I've heard him talk about Frasier a lot, but I have not seen anything. Daphne, that's the lady. Toe tossed? Oh, tossed salad. And... Oh, God, I was, I was reading. <laughs> that's not fair. That's your first mistake, reading. <laughs> I can't make that joke anymore. I read books now. Ooh, what book are you reading? <laughs> Dracula. Okay. Yeah. Is that anything like uh, Frankenstein? Uh, well, it's it's uh, Dracula's vampire. Technically, is the the famous uh, <laughs> Dracula was the <laughs> <laughs> Dracula was the bat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does turn into a bat. <laughs> He's Spoiler super up to something in that book. <laughs> okay, let's uh, slow. Let's take it slow. All right. A salad, scrambled eggs. Oh, okay, okay. Never feels good. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have faith in Frasier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, hey, we, we did it. Yeah. Windmills, that's a 10 out of 10 for creativity. I'll give you that. Um, yeah, not super difficult by any means. I did die in that one and not the first one, so. That's true. <laughs> Toss that one a um, Also, I want to point out, just so uh, so we don't miss them, um, there were a couple I put, uh, we got a slack with the codes up, uh, above the Dwarkamid one and Windmills, there were the two up there. I just want to oh. make sure we're not... Uh, uh, I missed those, and I'm unable... I might. I, I can retrieve those. Uh, okay. Uh, just let me know if you need them. I can just read them off. If you no, I, I got you. I'll pull okay. them up while you uh, take on your next level. All right. I got Bullet Shells by Robosaur on Mario Maker. Who it looks like on Giant Bomb is probably Vaver. So, I got eight clears out of 301 attempts. World record's 26 seconds. Block bullets with shells. Re uploaded for Giant Bomb. Re uploaded. All right. All right. As long as you, you got, got that GB, GB in counts. there. We do want to see more to, original levels. I think they would have to remake it like block for block, wouldn't they? That's what people are saying. Like, you can't like it. edit yeah. it once it's published. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, I thought oh, I saw this another one. scroll. Is it? Is this a slight? Oh, no, it's an airship thing. It's just, okay. Yeah, Block right. bullets with shells. All right, so, ooh, this is clever. All right, so if I'm holding this, I assume it's just going to think. Okay, I already like this idea. That's clever, okay. 
What are we doing here? How does that work at all? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh! Does it destroy the shell when it hits it? Let me see. Yeah, I learned a lot about shells in this one. Yeah. A lot of Mario games have had shells and turtles in them. <laughs> mm. We're Mario experts, so if you want more nuggets like that, stay tuned to get on my level. The only uh, Mario I played is two, so I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Oh shit, okay. Ooh, look at Ooh. that! Ooh! I'm gonna take this with me. I will mention you have 11 seconds. Oh, oh thank you for that heads up. Okay. <laughs> I see what we're dealing with now. <laughs> I did not notice the time limit. Alright. Oh, maybe I should have noticed the you have no time music from the first second. <laughs> One of the most stressful sounds in video games. It's not great. Which Mario is worse? Is, that or the Sonic you're drowning music? Th th that's where I was going. I was gonna, like Mario is better than Sonic in like pretty much every conceivable way. And yeah. I say that as a guy who's really likes Sonic games, but Sonic has the uh the one up. I didn't mean to say that. Um Sonic <laughs> Sonic's got the one up, games journalist, Dan yeah. Riker. <laughs> Sonic has a leg up, is what I meant to say, uh, in the, oh god, you're gonna die right now category. Oh god, this, this is not how to deal with this. <laughs> not at all, what am I doing? I don't have time for this spicy shit at all. Here. Why am I even trying to kill these, oh, what's the, pl what's the play? Uh, okay. Fuck off. You also ran out of time. <laughs> I was going for the double death. It's a specialty of mine. Alright. What the? Oh, I'm trying to think of how to even deal with that shit. Okay. All right, time is of the essence here. We can easily get there on the first one. Sure. We can just hit the bottom two here. No need to bring one across. I mean, I guess that doesn't hurt, but fuck it. And then, do I just do a big stupid jump? Uh, okay. Maybe if I take out the first. Oh, fuck off. Um. Oh boy. I bet if I just do a running jump. Fuck. If I can take out that first layer, I can jump on that two. All right. I have, um, maybe, I'll give you a few more tries, but I, I, as somebody who's beat all these levels, I can provide hints where needed. Okay, cool. I have not beat all the ones that I sent you. Oh, great. <laughs> there were many I played where I was like, oh, this will be a nightmare for Ben. <laughs> but like, a doable nightmare I tried to make Sure, it, yeah. But I definitely quit. Okay, wait, why am I, oh, I meant to throw that up? All right, I like this level. This is very uh, smartly put together. Yeah, it's cool. I like levels that have like a gimmick with like varying yeah. escalating difficulties. And this I think is a good use of the airship theme. I think this all works really well. All right. This guy, maybe I will carry it. Let me just try to take out the first layer here. Oh, fuck that guy. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not <laughs> what I want. Make it work! <laughs> oh. What? Don't shoot me. Wow! Oh, okay, okay, I... I think I know a quicker way to do that now. Okay. Man, they really... Yeah, it's a, it's a tight, tight time limit It's a here. real time. I think I ended with three seconds. Oh, wow, okay, let's... This is, this is good. I like this. I'm not gonna waste any time to carry that. In fact, I don't want it because I want to do this. Oh, gee. That's not good. Try taking out just the top. So what I did is I grabbed the shell and then took out just the top left bullet bill. That's what I want to do, but like, how do you? Do I was that? just holding oh, you're onto jumping up it with it and then collided with it. So you jumped like up. that. Okay, okay, I didn't think about that. I've been trying to throw it up. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. All right. Uh. Okay. And then we'll do... Fuck, I turned! I tried to adjust in midair. You chose and I, just, psh, I just shoved my asshole into a bullet. All right. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that. Did you ever see the white part underneath the eye of a normal sized bullet bill as the mouth, or did you always see it as a little arm? Oh, I have to see it again. I saw it as a little arm. Is that supposed to be an eye? Oh, wait. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, the, the front's an, ar or an eye, and then it's the tiny arm. Okay, yeah. 
but there were times maybe in maybe it looked more like it in like Mario 3 or something but it, at times it looked like a mouth or maybe it was Mario 1 Mario 1 did it have the arm or was it just the eye was there bullet bonsai bills in oh, Mario 1 not bonsai bills there bullet but there's bills. bullet bills in okay. Mario 1 yeah yeah totally bonsai that, debuted actually. in world okay that's not what I want <laughs> that was cool yeah that's I mean yeah that's what I want <laughs> this is not enough time Go. Mm -mm. Thanks for the one-ups. <laughs> you get to try again. Yeah. I can do this. I, I mean, assuming it's like the flag or like one jump afterwards. I'm going to give away my money. <laughs> Stuff. Wamp. Nice. That'll save a second or two. Yeah. Right. This, is looking, don't have this is looking optimized. Okay, that's what I need to figure out. I need to not just do a wild big jump. I need to, like, make that more measured. Yeah, go either a little less or a little more. <laughs> I need to go a little less, I think. Okay. So I've been, like, uh, I've been trying to make some new levels. I've had a bit of a case of Mario Maker block. And I have oh, like yeah. five different levels that I'm working on simultaneously. It's hard to like really nail ah. one down. It's so easy to just be like, I have a new gimmick I want to try. Yeah, I find that a lot of times I just like pick a theme. Fuck off! Um, <laughs> like pick a theme or something. Yeah. And then I just start setting stuff down and then like hope that some sort of inspiration strikes. And then before you know it, it's like, oh, okay, I'll just roll with this for a while. But yeah, it can be hard. I, I haven't made one in a while. Playing all of these, though, was fun and like got me thinking about Mario again. Yeah, totally. Turns out it's a good video game series. Okay, this is the run. Don't get shot. I legally Please cannot say this oh, is God. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get shot. Okay. <laughs> Please don't shoot me. Ducking wouldn't help. All right. <laughs> Just put me on the flag. Oh, that's not what you want. Uh, sure. Oh! You got this, though. I can, I can do this. Is that the right idea? Knock out the first bullet and I don't remember. the second? I, I either, like, launched it uh. manually in the middle or took out the first one. Man, that's a good last trick. That's a good level. I like the last screen that just stresses you out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You I died like in the too. Koopa. I, yeah, I know. <sighs> I hate it, the feeling when, like, you know you can do it, and then it's just a matter of pulling it off, because then it's like, ah, I don't really have an excuse. Right. And it's so you know, easy if you to don't get, see the whole level. It's so easy What's to that? get frustrated and die to something stupid, just because you're, like, yes. thinking about the hard part and not paying attention. Yes. Well, that's good. No, dying's bad. It's, no. You want to win. Right. All right, 27 seconds there. Trying to figure out the best time for all this stuff. Okay, guess so if we can get here, a 23 is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, everything good so far. 20 here. Okay, and this is the one that trips me up. Oh. Timing is so... Right. Sucks. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, the only screen where it. I think you can really tighten things up is the one with all the bullet bills. That one scares me. <laughs> it is scary. It, I, I don't know if I should go for the first chunk of bullet bills or wait for the second. I, I don't really know how to tighten it up. So I think I think you might I think the optimal play is to hit it on that first jump and go for the second column of them. Where there's okay. like the gap. Fuck. Well, this is not gonna happen. Wait, so hit on the first Hit the top chunk. right one and then land on this the second column of bullet bills where there's only two. Hit the top right one? Top left one. So that's the one I'm destroying with the shell. Yeah, and then just keep and you're moving saying forward. I, should... 
I said oh, I so push it harder. All the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> all the way. I'll try that. I'll try that again. <laughs> uh. Great. <laughs> all right. I like it. Mario's hmm. got some good music. Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. Can you get that high? Just a little. No, the the, the you're overshooting at one. Just the middle row. Oh, you're saying hit the middle one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been aiming for the top right. Which okay. I should. That's not happening. Okay, I see now. All right, let's adjust. Okay, okay. You're dialing it in. You're like, you're a beautiful mind in it right now. You got all the exactly. angles in your head. Exactly. Doing the math. <laughs> yeah. Math, physics, he's got it all, folks. <laughs> got a band called 30 Odd Foot of Grunts. <laughs> all right, all right, here's the moment. Here it is. Set your VCRs, folks. <laughs> Half of our audience doesn't know what a VCR is. I, <laughs> I was having snacks with the, the GameSpot folks, and there was a bunch of Newman's own stuff, and most of the people didn't know who Paul Newman was. Yeah, I, I would expect I'd that. I withered into dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I wouldn't have oh, made it so anyway. Close. One of my favorite things my dad consistently does is just be absolutely baffled when very young people don't know very old musicians. Like, we'll be at the bar with my sister, and she'll say she's never heard of Eric Clapton, and he'll just, like, have a seizure. <laughs> oh. Or David Lee Roth. Like, Diamond, you don't know Diamond, Dave? It's like, no. That, the Beatles? <laughs> That's gonna be us with, like, fucking shitty guys like John Mayer. It's like, it's you don't know who John Mayer is? <laughs> it's me with everyone I see on SNL these days. Uh, like, yeah. I've never heard of any of these people. Give me your Every thoughts once on in a while, Halsey. We'll bring out... What's that? Halsey? Halsey? <laughs> Is that a Jersey Shore? I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. Halsey? Oh, it's a girl. Halsey? <laughs> Hall. Oh, Halsey. Uh, okay, I've heard of her. She's on SNL. Yeah, that's the only reason I know who she is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then every, like, once a season, they'll bring out one of Lauren's 90-year-old friends to be the musical guest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, I can do this now. Yeah. I, I, I don't I want to it. put any pressure on you, but I'm starting to glance over here at this clock. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Nice. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. Okay. This, this is it. This is it. That's all there is to it. Ooh, one second left on the clock. I'll take it. Jeez, all right. Good level. That's a good level. That's yeah. a good Mario level. Good work. I'm gonna give that a big old like. All right. If they like you back, you can play Mario levels together. Ooh. All right. Thank you. You got one. That was a that was a fun level. That was. All right. So I got those. I got those other ones you sent me. This one's from. Loclo, I'm going to say is how you pronounce that, L-O-C-C-L-O. -O. Okay. We got The Ascent. Climb a dangerous tower in the middle of a dark forest. Don't be too oh, yeah. hasty. Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. I think I did beat this one. You're one of the 11? Uh, I think I think so. Oh, man. I already like the name of my next one. All right. Let's see it here. It's fun seeing all the GBs at the start. Yeah, yeah. I hope there's like people out there who are like, I keep seeing GB in these Mario Maker levels and I don't know what yeah. it means. Yeah, it's the new Abby from Brooklyn. <laughs> okay. I love the music in uh, this new theme. Yeah. Such a cool thing seeing like new official Nintendo themes for like Mario World. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you're 
Okay. Trying not to be too hasty. Don't be too hasty. Mm. I think we're gonna have a pretty big variety of like level types here. We've got like kind of the speed ones with low time limits. We've got some more puzzly ones. Like this, this is good stuff. Yeah. Whoa. That's dangerous. Uh... <laughs> I wonder if I developed some anxiety as a child playing Mario. <laughs> oh, almost certainly. <laughs> I like, I love a shell that has nowhere to go. Yeah, just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I've probably asked you this before, but are you a world or a three guy? I'm a world guy. Um, okay. Oops. Uh, I like, I like, I, you know, I, uh, actually playing this game, Mario Maker 2 and all the three themed levels, I was always like, uh, you have to be one or the other, kind of like always team world number one, three is a joke, blah, blah, blah. But Who's that's joke? a good game. Oh man, I, I think they are the two best uh, 2D Mario games. Um, I just think it's really close and I do tend to go towards world. Anyone says three sucks, I don't even want to talk to that person. Yeah, I don't think any Mario game sucks. No official Unless, like, yeah, like mainline. mainline. Yeah, mainline, none of them suck. Uh, I'll give you a little tip here. I think you're overthinking this. Okay. Uh, Quit fucking with those shells. Huh? Quit fucking with those shells. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just... Uh, there we go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I just wasn't going to let that keep happening. <laughs> I was going to spend the next 14 minutes on that. <laughs> I, I saw the future, I didn't like it, and I changed it. <laughs> okay. I like this. I like this, like, escalating... Yeah. Uh... Tower. Yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. This one didn't make me feel oh, good. Oh. Just drop. Yeah. Bad feeling. Okay. There was a level I didn't um, send you that had a lot of really anxiety inducing icicle action. <laughs> the icicles were a good addition. I like that there's like. the. Oh, fuck off. I like that there's the ones that drop and the ones that don't drop, and that they're color-coded. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, I think it's so cool when they took stuff like Boom Boom that wasn't in World, and they made, like, world versions of them. It's, or, like, a Mario 1 version of Baby Bowser, you know? Yeah. Or Sorry, Bowser Jr. <laughs> Is there a Baby Bowser? Uh, baby Bowser's the end boss of uh, Yoshi's Island. It is Bowser That's as a Bowser baby. Bowser Jr.? No. That is that is Bowser as a baby. Oh. Just as it is Mario and Luigi as babies. Right. It is Bowser as a baby. How do you feel about them making Dr. Uh, baby Mario and Dr. Baby Luigi, Dr. Baby Peach, and Dr. Baby Daisy? They made a Dr. Baby Mario? Yeah, and other babies? Mario uh, Dr. iPhone game. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't recognize that officially. It doesn't have I don't the four stars in the Mario Encyclopedia? No, I don't. I just, across the board, I don't trust babies as doctors. Call me close-minded. Wow. Yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, the music's getting faster. I don't trust anyone under the age of, like, 70 as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, a sweet spot. I don't want an ancient doctor, and I don't want a young one fresh out of medical school. You just wanna... be somewhere within 50 and 70. <laughs> And have a stethoscope. <laughs> yeah. and then oh, I'll trust yeah. you. Then I'll literally trust you with my life. It's like how you can get into uh, like a music festival if you're carrying a clipboard. Like if you just put on a uh -huh. stethoscope and a white coat, you can treat anyone's illness. Yep, yep. And just be old enough and not too old. Yeah. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. I have so little of it. And just don't say toxins or energy. Otherwise, I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, energy? Or like energy flow type stuff. Okay. You yeah, don't that, want a that, doctor no, like, to do chi. Fuck. Uh, exactly. No, if someone says, hey, you need more energy to move around, I'd be like, oh, that's <laughs> that seems reasonable. That's something a doctor would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, do, I just need to stand still. <laughs> so that is Bowser Jr. That is Bowser's yes. only son. Then what are the Koopalings? Well, oh, that's no. the whole thing. Okay, that's fine. That's they're they're uh they are just henchmen now. They were originally his kids. So they're like vying to be the next Bowser. 
kind of working their They're way just through the ranks. Lieutenants in the Koopa army or something. Oh man, could you imagine like a Game of Thrones style show set in the Mario universe with like all these Koopalings trying to work their way to the top and become with the Game of Thrones cast starring <laughs> as the Koopalings in live action? Yeah. With elaborate makeup. Iggy definitely strikes me as a uh, Remy Baratheon. Okay, yeah. Who would uh who would a Nikolai Wasterkloster be? Who's that now? Jamie Lannister. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Who's like the most princely? Yeah, Koopa they're all kind of dopes. I think uh, the Robert Baratheon guy would be Roy. Just give him some big pink sunglasses. <laughs> Just chilling or out. No, no, like, no. Sam, Sam Tarly. Sam Tarly oh, should be Roy. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I, I'm getting That's in my a good own checkpoint, head about though. This. Good thing you got a checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wait for the third fireball. Okay. I'm going to be patient. A lot of times, and this is true with like when I play fighting games, when I play Dota, kind of anything I play. I have a patience problem. And I've been trying to learn how to, ooh, go was, a little slower. It can be hard when there's fireballs and dinosaurs flying at your ass all the time. Yeah. Are you telling me? Flames shoot out of the ground. Hey! Nice! Hey. It's a good level, right? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Nice consistent theme, a boss fight yeah. at the end. Just, wah. Yeah. All right. Good work. I am going to be doing this one called the TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the kids out there, uh, Damn Level. Did you right. ever play that uh, NES TMNT game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I rented that one a bunch and hated it. Uh, but, of course, as a kid, you think that you're the dumbass and it's not just like a poorly designed part of a level. All right. Um, but TMNT 2, the arcade game, that was the one to get on NES. Yeah. My personal All favorite right. was 4, Turtles in Time. That was super though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Manhattan Project. Well, Manhattan Project was NES, right? Yeah. And then Turtles in Time was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Shredder is trying to blow up the Hoover Dam. Save us, Donnie. Splinter. This is from. Uh, let's see. We got. Uh, this is Cat Named Virtue on the site, and this is Virtua on Mario Maker. All right, eleven percent clear rate. That's, that's doable. I think I might have actually not beaten this one, but I got like to oh. the end-ish, I think. Makes me think this is gonna be a swimming level. Ah. Uh. All right, so far so good. <laughs> You're a turtle now. <laughs> I should have got that mushroom. All right, I'm in the mindset of having to like super hurry. Oh man, okay. I, I would, will say that Mario 3 has my favorite underwater like look like the whole theme what's going on with this shit okay so i need to oh okay got it i thought it was a nice there's little five. clever way to use the bomb there Make that little outro. yeah all right there's five. Oh man i hate bloopers so much they're the worst i've always hated blooper so if i hit something with this shell i lose the shell right it doesn't just protect me yeah okay man blooper they're like they're worst, so bo worst booze Worst what? Worst booze. Oh, worst booze? Yeah, yeah, less predictable. And you can control booze. You can, uh, you can kite them? Is that a Dota term? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can kite. Am I using that right? You totally are. You kind of, like, Sweet. lead them on and... Shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. I, I know Dota. You want to play later? No. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. I guess I'm just swimming around looking for keys. I don't remember exactly the TMNT water level. I did play the game in, in this level, but I think they did a pretty good job of uh, getting a facsimile of it. Especially yeah, as if, if only if these pink donuts were everywhere and killed you instantly. Oh, just wait. Oh, good. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it killed you instantly or if it just like dramatically drained. I can't remember if that game had a health bar or how that worked. I think that was one of the like first angry video game nerd videos I ever yep. saw. Yep, me too. Me too. It was like that and Man, the that Doki Doki Panic uh, Mario 2 one. Yeah, yeah. Man, that guy was way out of his time. He was. He's still doing it too. He's still like uh, out there. Good for him. Yeah. I remember thinking he was like 
he obviously had the like entertainment factor down way before YouTube and everything, but he clearly had a, a lot of knowledge. Okay. Please give me that. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Man, I hate. Man. The nice okay. thing is about bloopers. The only nice thing about bloopers is they won't kill you if you're stationary. They won't. Because they can only get so close to you. I think. Oh, maybe I'm. Fuck you! <laughs> All these years, I really thought that like they wouldn't oh. do it. You made me too curious, and I'm doing good. Oh, and now we got the turtle shit going on. Oh my god. Sounds like you need I to hate this. get on my level. I hate this so much. Oh, there's a mushroom. Yes. Yeah, fair dosage of mushrooms in this level, which is good. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. All right, fine. Oh, man, I don't like it. Yeah. You know, they won't kill you if you're uh, stationary. Yeah, I heard that. Okay. Wait, do I need... What is that for? I'm pretty sure that's just a mushroom. Okay, okay. I need to be booking it. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe they don't kill you if you're small. Right, right. That's how T-Rexes work, right? <laughs> yeah, I've seen Jurassic Park. Oh, good man. Oh, God. Please just get me through this part. Okay. Stop doing that. <sighs> just please end the level. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes! Nice. Oh, that was Splinter and the Turtles. Oh, nice. Nice. Was that my first try? That was. Ah, nice. I died very many up. times on that level. Good job, Dan. Man, really well done. That was, that was a good level. Liked it. All right. We, we haven't failed yet, have we? We have not failed yet. We're really good at this. And then we also, uh, I guess, need to pick more bullshit for each other. Oh, there's going to be more bullshit, I think. Uh, we got another level just out of circumstance by Viver. Viver? 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 Uh, sure. Snow day. A winter nightmare land. 1% oh, oh. clear rate. Oh, I think, oh, I think no. this might be the one. Sorry. I just need no worries. to pull this up again. I hit the B button instead of the A button. Oh, that, that's the one that makes you go back. Yeah. It's funny, sometimes in Japanese games, it's the right button to hit. Metal Gear taught me that. Metal Gear taught me most things. <laughs> like what a deterrent is. Mm-hmm. And that they always work. Yeah. yeah. Great. All right, here we go. Snow Day. Actually, I think the deterrent they only really talked about in Peace Walker, which is the only one I never really pay any attention to. <laughs> yeah. Because the PSP fucking sucks ass. I play. I only played it in the the, the, the collection, the HD right. collection. I think my hatred of the PSP oh, carried off. over to the collection too, because I didn't even play through it on the collection. <laughs> okay, this is. Yeah, have fun with this one. It's clever, but it's a nightmare. This is great music too. Oh yeah. Oh god. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, this part is total horseshit, by the way. Ah, <laughs> yep. I hate that oh, jump. Oh, fuck you. That's, yeah. Now we're getting into the garbage. It sucks. Oh, that's so <laughs> stressful. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that. <laughs> it's a good move. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Uh -huh. Kill yourself. Ha ha! Ah! Uh, 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 this is a uh. clever level. Yeah, I like this because like I'm getting it right away. The logic is just so in. Oh, fuck off! Ah! Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this <is> genuine terror. <laughs> It's incredible how Mario, Super Mario Bros, a game that came out in what, like 1989 or something? The first one was more like 84, I 84, think. 84, sure. 
it's incredible that it still is fun to play. Like the physics still feel good, you know? Yes. Okay. 100%. All right. I, I, I played through it all on a plane recently. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I played through it all. Um, because, you know, as a kid, you always play with like, you know, you do the shortcuts, you do the warp zones yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I can't remember if I ever just like played straight through every single level without any warp zones. So I did that on a plane not too long ago, and uh, it's a real good game still. Totally. Like, it's hard, but not unforgivable, like some NES games, you know? Yeah. Oof. I remember I got it. I was four years old when I got this game, and I remember, you know, when you're four and I hadn't really played other games or honed my skills or anything, it was a daunting game. And I remember I had a babysitter. She was like, you know, 15 or 16 or something that would come over and watch me. And she beat the last Bowser, which I Damn. always thought was just this impossible task. And I remember watching that just in absolute awe, like, holy shit, I watched someone beat Super Mario Brothers. Oh, Mario was a uh, 83. Oh, wait, no, sorry, I'm looking at the, the weird multiplayer one. I typed in Super Mario Bros. Uh, 85, 85. September 13th, 85. Yeah. 20, 30. Let me do some math here. 34 yeah, years later. It's like 34. Yeah. It's still, still feels sharp. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. All right. You got this. Uh, no! I was preemptively <laughs> scooting. I love donut lifts. <laughs> They're so stressful. They really are. Just like wiggling back and forth on them. Yeah. Oh, Just whoa, whoa. praying one of them doesn't say. <laughs> Will this be the first one we have to pay out for? Or actually, I guess it's just, this comes out of your pocket if you can't beat it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you chose it, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. We'll both pay up. No! It's my my I, controller was tangled. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. The inputs I were I thought this lost. was. This is a real clever bullshit start to a level. Yeah. It just it it's a sucks. level that lets you know right when you turn it on, like, oh you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, you see those things bouncing, it's like, alright, alright, let's do this. Ah, uh, this stupid thing. <sighs> Never feels good. No. <laughs> I just have a knot in my stomach at all times. <laughs> uh you and then you. You. The uh, on-off switches, I think, are probably the best addition to this game. Yeah. And People the fact have that done. They, they do blocks and treadmills. Yeah. People have done really clever things with those switches. Nintendo is just so unmatched at like keeping their legacy and pedigree like so in in the eye, of, and not just in the way that like, oh, they they sell retro things or something. Like, no, they. Look at this, this is a brand new game, and everyone's playing basically these old ass games in different ways. I just, it, it's amazing what they've done with their catalog. Consistently, it's not a new thing. Nice. Yeah. Like, I think a great, ex oh boy. Uh. <laughs> a great example is what they did with like Odyssey, with like the side scrolling stuff and everything. It's a, it's a slippery snake block. <laughs> Fun to say. Slippery snake block. Sip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, focus, focus in. Then I'm still working on trying to make a fun snake block level. You can't do it. No one can. <laughs> Miyamoto couldn't. <laughs> Are you saying you're better than Shigeru Miyamoto, Ben? Uh, I'm saying is that maybe the pull I'm quote trying here? harder. What oh. the fuck is this? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. There's no hidden blocks. You're just going to make me kill myself. He didn't have to put those there. <laughs> You gave me false hope and you ripped it away from me. You could have had a noble death, but no, you had to just be terrified for your life on donut blocks. 
Is there any form of donut blocks in the real world? I mean, obviously not floating donuts, but like something that like you can stand on for a few seconds before you plummet to your death. I guess ice, maybe? Yeah, I guess like frozen ice, maybe? Okay, what is going on here? Do I need to like... <laughs> Uh, hmm. Do I get more momentum if I like jump into it? No. Oh, kinda actually. But I need to hit the other way. You goddamn cannon. Whoa! Oh! Shit. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh. Still got some, still got some tries left. Yeah. yeah you, you made a lot of progress there. A lot of tough stuff in this level. Wait, am I fine? I was waiting I just... for you to get pinched against the rocks. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> One last gasp. <laughs> Jumpman's gotta jump, you know? <laughs> yep. That's not Jumpman, that's Luigi. That's Jumpman's brother. <laughs> Luigi Man. Yes. That's how names work. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Let's ride that up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, gee. Mm. Uh. Wait. Oh, you can't pick things up in Mario 1. No, you can't. <laughs> that was on purpose. <laughs> that was just a, like, palate cleanser. I like the... Like the audible controller hitting the table. <laughs> <laughs> it really, uh, it, it makes me feel good in my soul when I see stuff like, I see these like awesome games on quick type things, and I see these kids that are like, they seem like they can't be older than like 22 doing like crazy Kaizo levels and stuff like that with the old like physics. Like, it's just so cool that they weren't live when these games came out and they're still playing them in 2019 yeah, totally. obsessively. Yeah, it, it's really, it, like, uh, there's there's a, a Smash Melee player named Zane, and he was like, uh, there was that documentary, The Smash Brothers, fuck, that came out a couple, like, I don't know, at this point, probably like 10 years ago. And he was like, yeah, I was like seven or eight, and I watched that, and I decided I wanted to play. And I wasn't even born when the game came out yet, but he's like now a top five player in the world. Holy shit. Nice. It's really cool, just like, games that... Are, like you that's how you know a video game is good it's like when like for Mario or or you know fighting games and like games like Starcraft there's just like some games out there that are gonna be played for as long as video games are being played yeah but then there are the other ones that like are equally as important but you just don't see played as much now because time and place like uh, Metal Gear Solid the first one oh boy what the fuck <laughs> can it like the first Metal Gear, like, Metal Gear Solid, like, that is as important as any game, I think, ever. But, like, I also see why people aren't just playing that game all the time in 2019, right. you know? Like, it's appreciated, but not played a lot. Yeah, totally. I feel like a lot of NES games are like that. A lot of, like, PS1 era and NES era are probably the eras that are harder to revisit than, like, a Super Nintendo game. Super is the sweet spot. Because and like, those pixel graphics age so well, yeah. and yeah, yeah, that early 3D stuff, not so much. All the stuff like Ocarina and Mario 64, I think, did a, I mean, that's still fun to play. True. And there are, yeah, like, oh, God. We just did our uh, N64 stream, and I, oh, Mario 64, still fun as hell to play. Yeah, just a great game. Oh, that's it, okay. Yep. I, I figured I had to hit it below, but I was like, is there some way to drop the donut blocks? Right through that donut. Right through the donut. There's a hole in the middle. Mm-hmm. They sell those, too. I used to work at a summer camp for several years, and 
we there was like all sorts of songs, you know, like camp songs that yeah. you sing. My favorite was the donut song. Um, and it started, oh, uh, I went to the donut shop to get a bite to eat because I was so hungry from my head to my feet. And I just okay, picture yeah. somebody who's like really starving and then just wants to eat a donut. Like that's, I don't know why, but that's really funny to me of like, I, you know, if I'm really hungry, I'm like, oh, I want a burrito or some pizza or something. It's never just like, ooh, I'm starving. I want a single glazed donut, please. Yeah, it's like someone just got done hiking, uh, what's that big Appalachian mountain range or whatever. They haven't eaten anything in like two weeks and just give me a fucking donut. If you were starving, like, if you hadn't eaten in like a couple weeks, what's the first thing you would run to, you think? Like a big turkey leg? I think like a pasta. Oh, like, that'd be filling, yeah, that's good. Some sort of big pasta with a meat sauce. Yeah, that'd be good. Or like a, like a burger and fries would be good. Ooh, yeah. Fries. Fr like anything in fries, honestly. Ah! Ooh. Okay. I feel like, uh, I feel like I gotta get this soon. Or else. Give, give it a few more tries here. This is a real good, uh, level of difficulty. That feels bad. I wanted to wait Balls for the blocks head. to come back down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in terms of like hard levels, this is tuned very well where it's like there's not a lot of like blind jumps. No. Nope. Like there's logic to everything. It's not There's like one trick per section. It's not like do these yep. two things really fast. Yeah, it's like it's not like during this part there's a bunch of like, you know, homing bullet bills <laughs> coming after you or something. Right, which is something like I would do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you got it. Nice. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gotta quit putting the controller down. <laughs> it's gonna be your undoing. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Easy. Oh God, I don't wanna watch this. <laughs> I'm also working on a claw level. I like these claws a lot. Claws are great. Good physics. They're a great addition. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But do I just, am I supposed to, <laughs> I feel like, here's, okay, I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna die if I go to the left. I'm like 75% sure. But, you go to the left here? Yeah. I, I feel like that would be intentionally trolly okay. in a shitty way. Uh. <laughs> Man, this is a good level. Yeah, this is cool. That's fun. Oh, I'm not oh, ready. Oh, Ben. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Ben! We're fine. <laughs> what is that? Okay, it's just a background thing. <laughs> I like the part in Mario 2 in the first level where you gotta drop the bomb and time it if you want to go to the Birdo shortcut. Yeah. Like, nailing that was so fun. Yeah. Like, over the course yep. of multiple playthroughs. <gasps> I'm stupid. I'm a stupid, dumb idiot. Dumb idiot. <laughs> you were doing so well. Uh, I feel like Mario that has to be pretty close. Yeah. Mario 2's bomb animation is incredible, too. Just a great cartoon explosion with the word bomb on it. Lights go all crazy. Mario 2, in a way, might be the most, like, cartoony Mario. Yeah. Like, because yeah. even stuff like Mauser. Oh, that's not enough momentum? Yes, it is, but that wasn't. Fuck off. Mauser's just straight up poochie. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, he's poochie with bombs. Maybe that would have made Poochie more, uh, test better. Maybe possibly, yeah. I love the Mario 2 bosses. Triclide, tri Fry Guy, yeah. Mouser. Wart. Fucking Wart, yeah. 
I would like them to, like, you know, certain elements of 2 have made their way into, like, Mario canon. Like, you know, fucking Shy Guys playing tennis and shit now. Yeah. But let's let's bring in the Fry Guys and the Triclides and all that stuff. You know, Birdo's been hanging out for a while. I don't, why is it so hard for me now? There we go. Oh, that doesn't feel good. How many tries I got left, Dan? You have three tries. Okay. Unless you die in this first stupid shit here. That doesn't count. You have to at least get to the top of this part. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is like a perfect balance of yep. difficult, but not bullshit. Yep, yep. Like, this is one that even if I don't beat here, I would probably download this level and try and beat it on my own time. Totally, yeah. Nice. Feels good. They'll fly in the air. Hey. This doesn't feel I don't like watching this part. <laughs> I don't like playing this part. Oh yeah, you got the, the tougher part here. Okay, now now we're cool. This this just seems fun. Yeah, I like that. <sighs> uh Ben. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel bad here, but look at the top right of the screen. Not the time. <laughs> you know, maybe they're all going to just be like in a zone together. You just grab all of them. Yeah. Because surely it's not more sinister than that. No. Oh. This, there's some diabolical stuff in this level. Oh, it's gonna blow up the safety block. Safety block. All right, okay. that's good. That's good. Mm. Uh, let me kick that into that. Oh yeah, I can't pick oh, up. Boy. Kept trying don't, to pick up. Don't die in a dumb way. Okay. Be cool, Ben. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool? That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> day? Snow. What's day snow? I think you're supposed to read it top bottom. Oh, like a, like English words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually left or right. I see a coin! Oh, it just does not stop bouncing. No. <laughs> what a weird thing for them to hide in this. Yeah. And have it have like physics unlike anything else in the game. And it like changes the music and everything. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, they're all here. They gotta be. Oh, did it not reach? Super impressed with this level. I've seen some levels do cool things with this uh, Game Boy one. Come on. <laughs> uh. <Hey>. Oh! <laughs> Knocking it back. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is not what you want. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You're kidding there. Oh. oh, maybe this'll do it. Oh, nice. Little nudge. Okay. <sighs> um. Nice. Oh, I didn't go in the door. Okay. <laughs> Don't do anything dumb. Words to live Whatever by. you do. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I hate you. It's great. Ah! Ooh. Man. It's my money, and I get to keep it. <laughs> What a level, though. That was a level. You know, we, we talked about maybe awarding some based on just, like, is this a good level? And, like, not necessarily, you know, I beat it. But we want to reward creativity. And I, 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 think, I think this level deserves a, a prize. Yeah, I think so, too. All I right. think that is a, a stellar, stellar level. Thanks again to uh, Vever. Viver. Viver. 15 minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> I like it. All right, I will move on to one by uh, Snarfoogle on the website and Snarfy on uh, the Mario Maker here. Uh, this one is called Godzilla vs. Mario, inspired by Giant Bomb Makes Mario. Run from the kaiju, then give him a lava bath. I will say Let's it's it. funny that you mentioned kiting earlier because this one, um, it's it can get a little tricky if you get too far ahead of Bowser. you got to kind of keep him close-ish. Interesting, okay. I'll give it a shot. In Mario World, do you ever see Bowser's lower half outside of the clown car? Just when he gets, like, knocked out of it and spins Yeah, yeah out. I guess briefly. Yeah. I love that last boss fight. The whole last level with the, like, eight doors and everything, I, I love it. Oh, I, I already don't like this. <laughs> <Get out here. laughs> didn't want to deal with that. What? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nice. Oh! Oh, it's like a little tank. Okay. Bad feeling. There you go. Okay. What are we doing there? Come on, bud. Do your thing. Uh, are you stuck in the blocks? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I think you're just stuck. Oh, wait. Because the the pow or the pow block triggers the thing in the top there, or the P switch. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> hey Bowser, you wanna do me a help, favor? Help me out. <laughs> oh yeah, just do another jump there. No, I don't, I don't think, think that's he's happening. Uh, right. keen on helping you. No, okay. That, yeah, that's the, the it's weird, because, like, if you, uh, if you do it faster or slower, you don't get hit, but there's, like, a sweet spot where you just get hit, and it's maybe the only part of this yeah. level I didn't like. Uh, I didn't throw that far enough. Oh, just kinda. All right. And let me explain how stupid I am. Uh, there have been numerous times during this that I've looked up expecting you to be in the control room, and I've looked out the window, and there's been no one there, and fuck. <laughs> While you were telling me about how stupid you are. You know, no, yeah. it's hard. It, I don't want to pile on that because it's hard to play hard Mario levels and talk at the same time. It is. It is really hard. Uh, but I have been like, for a nanosecond every time, been freaked out because it seems like I'm talking to no one. <laughs> uh, but then I look at the TV screen and that's where you are. Okay. So I think the, the purpose of this is to kind of act as a stopgap to make you wait for Bowser a little bit. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Give me that. Bowser. There hey, buddy. He is. Oh, what, what am I doing? Okay. I like this. It looks like there are little spaceships flying by. Yeah, yeah. You coming? Oh, I don't like the bomb. Shit. Bowser! Where the fuck up? Huh. So you get stuck. I hope not. Good sound. Bowser. Where's Bowser? Buddy. Hey, there come you on. go. Make it. Like me trying to convince my dog that 
to jump on your head. I'm trying to convince my dog that he can jump on the couch even though he's done it a million times. He just come stares on, at it and whines for I know while. you can do it. Yeah, come on, buddy. You can do it. I've seen you do it before. I'm just, I'm just picturing Mario, like, helping Bowser up by his hind legs yeah. or something. All right, buddy. I'll help you out. All right, just do the thing. If that is meant to be a, a thing to have Bowser catch up, that's a very clever way of doing it. Um, no. I'll wait for you, bud. Remember, you didn't have to use the spin jump much, much in uh, Mario World proper. Yeah. And so it's so cool that this thing that was always in the game, but it has this, like, new life in uh, Mario Maker, you know? Totally. Just, like, it happened to have these properties. Uh, yeah. That it was like, oh, you can hop on the swamps or the whatever, like, you know. Yeah, they didn't make that up. I mean, you could do that in Mario World, but, right. like, there's so much more shit you can do here. It's just like a happenstance that they coded it that way. Like, because there's, like, yeah, like you said, there's no parts that require it, so they probably no. weren't, like, thinking, ooh, gotta do this, but then for people to figure that out and adopt it. Yeah, but, like, for them to even put that in in the first place is so interesting considering it was never needed, you know? Right. It's one of those ones you have to wonder if it, like, with a lot of games you hear stories about, like, yeah, that was just, like, an accident that we kind of rolled yep. with it. Yeah. Making games sounds easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's a thankful and easy job. Just a bunch of happy accidents. Then it all works out. Okay, what are we even doing here? What? Oh, is a thing gonna happen? Yeah. This sucks. It's gonna open. I hate this. What? Oh god. Uh, this all feels bad. <laughs> I like the law of cheap cheeps. What, what are we doing? Oh. Did I drop him? Oh, fuck it. You killed him! Ha <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yes! Very on purpose and cool. <laughs> yeah. We are keeping our 100% success rate up. Who's gonna be the first to lose? Oh, and boy. have to pay everything in their wallet. <laughs> I think I have a $5 bill said, in my right? wallet, so that... Yeah. <laughs> I put four or $5 bills in my pocket this morning. <laughs> All right. But I have to take him to the haircut place because I told the guy I was going to tip him because I didn't have enough cash to tip him yesterday. So I'm going to run his tip back to the place. <laughs> Show up with like a wig on. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> All right. This is from uh, Sam Rules. The bee might be silent, but I sure be, won't be when I'm screaming about how hard this level is. Gusty bottom you master one. Master the segue. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I always said that about you. Speaking of segways, those scooters yeah. are everywhere out here. Mm, is this a GB? Ah, uh, it counts. Okay. Or it could be a shitty peace sign. Aha. I'm trying to remember what this one is. Mm. I don't think I did this. I remember thinking, like, oh, I wonder if there's something if you swim over there. Ugh. I don't think I did this. Is this a trick? It has to be a trick. I think it, I'm going back. Unless there's a hidden block, yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, this oh, one's. Oh, 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 Ben. Oh. Buckle up, Ben. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. I hate this. Underwater, spikes, twisters, and it's dark. And some of them suck, and some of them blow. Yeah. Like most Mario levels. <laughs> yes. Is this Wayne's World? <laughs> I did just get my first pube. Oh, nice. Congrats. Thank you. It's a big day. <laughs> I actually... Oh, fuck. This is an embarrassing story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. I have a Please. very, very vivid memory of the first time, because I was watching The Lost Boys in theaters, and I was just <laughs> like, holy shit, I ran out to the bathroom and was like so stoked and wanted to tell all my friends, but then I was like, no, actually, you know, none of us has ever talked about this, and it might be kind of weird, 
did it anyway. And uh, yeah, they uh, made fun of me for the rest of, they still do to this day. You associate the Lost Boys with your pubes? Yeah. Also, didn't that movie come out in 1989? It was like you were born in like 2004. TVD or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. It was, I was in a theater. It must have been like a re, like, okay, special yeah, yeah. come see the Lost Boys in theaters thing. Right. Because <laughs> I was definitely like with my parents. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a good pube story. <laughs> really? Weird. N nah. I thought everyone's very got like, a real classic. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I'm like sweating now. <laughs> I remember they used to do a bit on Conan back in the late 90s where uh, John Glazer, the comedian who was on, he was on Parks and Rec for a while, the super annoying guy. Uh, he just, the whole character was he just wore a black tight shirt that just said the word pubes in big white letters on it and just like went to like red carpet events and just said the word pubes while like celebrities walked by. And I think that was the whole bit and I remember thinking it was just completely genius. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, it used to, like, there was a time there where nothing against the writing staff but like, it seemed like you could kind of just do anything and <laughs> if you did it well, like it, it, it was helped out by them having like an amazing group of like Actors who could act out, or like writers who could oh. act out a bit really well. Yeah, um, Brian McCann and Brian Stack and all those guys, they were yeah. great. Nothing in the world was funnier to me than the masturbating bear. That was the height of comedy. Yeah, for, for me it was Preparation H. Raymond, but yes, same, same. Uh... <laughs> yes, Preparation H. Raymond and the FedEx Pope were up there. Uh, when Conan was, when that show was ending and they froze the masturbating bear in carbonite yeah. when Carrie Fisher was on. Oh man, that was good. <laughs> nice work. It's it's extra fucked up seeing the like death markers on dark levels because it's just like yes. I don't even know what that is, but two people yep. died there. Bad stuff happened there. Mario corpses. I'm so bad at water levels. This one's bad. I don't like this one. Okay. I'm really I'm glad that I cleared that Ninja Turtles one on the first try because yeah, that was incredible. That did not feel good. I died a lot in that one. I wonder if we're going to see our first uh, payout, or our first uh, can't beat it payout. Yeah. So I think there might have been a clue in this one, uh, something, a, a tip that would have helped you. Uh, I think if it's the one I'm thinking of, I will, I'll just tell you so you don't have to back out. I think it was basically swim at the top of these things, and if you're swimming at the top of the, like, Gus... It won't, it won't send you, you anywhere. So it, it's a it's a tight squeeze between the spike and the gust. But like here, I don't know. You just gotta fucking deal with it. But with some, you just stay at the top. Uh, oh ah! my god! Is that a checkpoint? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to drop this guy. Because oh. that up there that. looks impossible. <laughs> so I think you're supposed to. Knock him down. Oh. <laughs> I had a realization about this part. You'll probably come to it as well. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's a lot. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. Yep. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay. That's the realization. <laughs> And it's yep, not there to help you. They're all there. <laughs> yeah. It's one way. <laughs> oh, except this one. Right, that's the one that you came up in, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, those other ones are not going to help you. Uh, all right, let's just go. Try it once. Mm -mm. Checkpoint. You got a checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're good. I do like Vegeta just hovering over your shoulder. <laughs> I feel like he's judging me. Oh yeah, that's that's what he does. I just kind of want to see if they fall. Like if I need to do that. Have you? Did you beat this one? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, it respawns. Oh, cool. Great. 
Yeah. I, I've gotten past this, but I don't think I beat this one. <laughs> the proper face for this. <laughs> I love our fans. I love our audience. Uh -huh. I love each and every one of them. Except whoever made this. <laughs> Might get your money. I hope you enjoy. I hope you love watching all of the wonderful premium shows we have to offer you. Our great Maybe hate him, but you have to respect him for making this nightmare. Yeah. And beating it. It'd be like if uh, somebody killed my sensei or something, you know? I, I'd, I'd hate right. them, but I'd be like, they're strong. And... Like a Shin Mu situation. Like, you have to, like, you can't just go slap Landy in the face. You gotta make yourself better to face him. That'd be too easy if I could just do that. I have to wait yeah, a little bit and question my entire life decisions leading me to this point. No, every part has to feel bad. I could deal if it was just it just <laughs> sent you up and down, but it also like yeah, some like some it's sort Lucy of Goosey. tornado or cyclone. It never even felt good in Mario Three in the desert level with the sun. I mean, if you're sprinting full speed and you jump near the bottom of it, it'll fling you in a good way. But anything else, it doesn't feel good. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to really dial things in here. Maybe if I. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, Ben. <laughs> okay, the path is becoming clear. Yeah, yeah. Move like water. Uh. God. This would suck if it was well lit. Oh, fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Benny's in the control room now, and he's just cracking up at that one. <laughs> It's a good troll. <laughs> I was like, why even have those there if they're just like there to... <laughs> it's good. It's it's good. Good. I have to respect this. <laughs> what a shitty section. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. It moved you right. Hold on. Let's hydrate. <laughs> Maybe the first one to stump us. Yeah. What other great uh, game shows have involved having to stump or beat the host? You got when when Ben signs money. Yeah. Uh, mm. What other ones were host centric? When uh, there... Regis Philbin's million. <laughs> that wasn't his money. What? <laughs> that wasn't Regis's money. Uh. Oh, I guess in Deal or No Deal they made it seem like it was the dumb banker the silhouette. Banker. <laughs> yeah. Who had to have his bullshit phone calls? Ah. I knew it. At least, at least I can just try it again. Yeah, you can. Have fun with it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, beat the geeks. Boy, that sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Was that like early 2000s? It was, I think, on either MTV or Comedy Central, early 2000s game show. There was a TV geek, a music geek, a movie geek, and then, like, uh, every right. week there would be a fourth geek of varying... That's right. Like like a video game geek, or one week I there was a Simpsons geek, uh, which was a favorite of mine, that episode. Uh and then they had like what? themed packages around the different geeks. So like you would like compete against other people against the geeks, kind of a PvPVE scenario. And then when if you made it to the final round, you challenged one of them directly. And it's like if you challenged the movie geek, you could win like a year's worth of movie tickets. Or if you challenged the music geek, you'd win like a Tower Records gift card or some shit. I don't know what the prizes were. That's but, like, fun. Stuff like that. I got uh, we got someone in the crowd here raising their hand. Yes. I have a question. I have a question. Yes, this is uh, one of the visitors to the studio. I, yes, I, I, I really don't know much about this game or the Mario in general. Okay, uh, but a question for you and Ben. Yes, does the blowy fish that blows the bubbles 
does it take you in a direction like when Ben moves into it and it's moving the opposite way does it drag him into the spike or will it pull him the other way or does it just make it wishy-washy all over it's, it's uh I think you're giving it too much logic it is just chaos incarnate um it does no! blow you up <laughs> As you see, uh -huh. you can't do Ben, that. thank you for giving him the demonstration. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but it's also left and right. Uh, higgledy piggledy, I think. Is higgledy the, piggledy. Uh, okay. The technical just, term. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Should I take notes? Uh, the higgledy piggledy. Uh, yes, please write that down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank yes. you. Thanks for coming. Anything for a fan. Um, that last death did teach me something, though. I realized that I can look at the bottom and see exactly how far they're gonna go. Look at the bottom of... Like, the bottom part of the screen here, I can see where the tornadoes are going to stop. So, like, I know this is a safe spot. Oh, where, where it's going to hit the block yeah. in reverse? Gotcha. That was 100% on me. I just literally ran into that guy. <laughs> Dan, this might be our last level of the day, even. Uh, I think it might be, yeah. We, we've seen some good ones here. Yeah. I've been very impressed with the quality. And like I said, you know, we, we want to do more episodes of this. If you uh, are feeling inspired, uh, pop into our forums, forums. I mean, you're on Giant Bomb watching this, so you know where they are. But uh, yeah. there's a thread titled Get On My Level where you can submit your codes. Yes, and we can quite possibly play them. <laughs> if they're anything like this, Look. I hope not. <laughs> Look okay, at the so one you think today is inspiration for what we're looking for. Ben, we were talking about game shows, and it made me think. I've never thought. Oh my god! Go ahead. Savor that for a second. I was. I've never looked up to see if Wink Martindale was uh, the man's Christian name, and uh, sure enough, it's Winston Wink Martindale. So, which is the best, like, if you made a game show host and, like, a, a parody show or something. It'd be two would, on the nose. Be, yeah, it would be. But Wink Martindale, legendary game show host. Tic-Tac-Doe, also a great name for a, a game show. He was the host of that. One of my best childhood friends' name, his legal birth name was Sparky Robinson, which I feel like would oh, be a that's good. So, that's so good. Does he, I mean, he goes by Sparky, right? He goes by Bob. By Bob. Man, Sparky's so much more fun. <laughs> Go with Sparky. Get me on the horn with Bob. I'll convince him. Sure. Last I heard, he works at a Home Depot in Utah. All right. <laughs> Boy! I feel like in Kansas, I knew way more like Sparkies and Dusties and stuff like that. Dusty. Dusty was a big one in Kansas. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Uh, I heard... Uh, uh, somebody actually sent it to me, and you might be interested in this too. I know we're both big fans of the show Documental, um, mm -hmm. Japanese variety game show. But apparently, the crew involved in making that, like Masamoto's crew, did a Mario Maker One video where they had to play like hard Mario levels and were forced to do dumb shit if they couldn't beat it. Are they good at Mario, or is it just like I, I didn't watch the video. I like got it sent and bookmarked it, and then forgot about it completely until this moment. I'll, I'll uh, that's interesting. I'll post it in the comments of this video. How about so people? Cool. Are yeah, yeah. Check it out. Documental is a hell of a concept. It is. I've used some dumb shit happens in that show. No, I haven't seen that yet. I've only seen one and two. It's, it's, it's a lot more dick and ball stuff than uh, previous ones, which had a lot of it. Yeah, it's amazing when you get a bunch of like professional comedians together and like they know they're not going to make each other laugh with their normal bits. So it's like, let's just start vacuuming each other's dicks. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, Ben. Okay. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. Oh, it's just very <laughs> gently moving. Oh, not this one. <laughs> just praying for it to stop. That one really threw me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so scared. You should be. Oh. Ben. Fuck you! One, 
100% success rate. Oh my gosh, Dan, honestly, I did not think we were gonna be able to accomplish such goals here today. I guess these premium subscribers aren't on our level. Looks like we need the fans to uh, ratchet up the challenge, but not too much, because some of those levels we turned down were just like straight up way too hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was some that we like loaded up and instantly he's like, oh no, no. Like we have a spreadsheet with notes like uh, of all the level codes and it's fun reading each other's notes. I'm just like, no, in all caps. Yeah. Fucking absolutely not. <laughs> oh these boy. Were, these were the right mix though. Cause I think that any one or uh, most of these could have stumped us and we could have put the controller down. Like there, there were several that we were asking each other, like, can we do this? You yeah. Know? I was honestly going to give this one up if I died like two or three more times. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. Holy but, shit. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so congratulations to Vever uh, for our, you did a really good job with your level award. Everyone else, you need to get on our level, I guess. That's what we say. That's what we say because it's also the name of the show. Dan, thanks for joining me. We'll be back. Thanks, Ben. In the future with another episode. Get on my level.